And when you study the Bible and you study other ancient texts from Mesopotamia uh, and other areas of the world, it's the same story repeated over and over and over again. That's why in the movie Prometheus, uh, in the prequel to the Alien series, you see the same Anunnaki line coming to Earth, creating humans, and then deciding to come back and destroy us. When in the Bible it says that God, who also created the Anunnaki and us, decided to destroy the Anunnaki and most of the humans on Earth because they were manipulating the genetics of humans. Now you can say, well, that's just a book or you know, that was written in ancient times. Who knows if the Sumerians or the Israelites or before them the Jews were correct. But regardless, the, the globalists are manifesting everything that is in the Bible. Earlier this year, an MS-13 gang member was sentenced for helping lure a teenage boy to a playground, beating him in the head with a baseball bat and brutally stabbing him 32 times. This was an animal. Nancy Pelosi said, please don't call them animals. They're human beings. I said, no, they're animals. Of course, I think she's an animal, too. You want to know the truth? The pandemic. Senator Paul, we're look, saying they are gain-of-function yeah, viruses because they were they're animal not. viruses that became more transmissible in human, and you funded it. And you, you admit the truth. And you implying... Senator Paul, your time has expired, and I will allow witnesses right. who come before this committee to respond. And, and you are implying that what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual I totally resent that. Have and if anybody and is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. Uh, Senator Smith. We all love the popular kids show Peppa Pig for its pink talking human like pigs. Well, scientists at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota are close to creating an actual Peppa. They were able to pump human DNA through a pig's vein. What makes these animals terrifying though is not only do they have human cells flowing separately with pig blood cells, but also some of the cells merge together, making actual pig human cell hybrids. The goal of the experiment is to understand how diseases from bizarre animals, like HIV from monkeys, get into human bodies. In the study of blood types, Rh factor is also called rhesus factor because it was first discovered in the blood of rhesus monkeys. There are 612 primate species and subspecies recognized by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, and not one has Rh negative blood. If mankind evolved from the same African ancestor their blood would be compatible, but it's not. Nearly 85% of all human beings have RH positive blood, yet all royal families have RH negative blood. Where did the RH negatives come from? Why does the body of an RH negative mother carrying an RH positive child reject her own offspring?
After World War II, only about a dozen were brought to justice at the Nuremberg trials. The Catholic Church and the Vatican helped thousands of Nazis evade capture via the rat lines, which brought them mostly to South America, where they built an entire town in Argentina. In Operation Paperclip, the United States secretly absorbed thousands of Nazis into the US government, where they led the NASA space program and helped pioneer the military-industrial complex, as well as Big Pharma. Many believe that being a Nazi is synonymous with being anti-Jewish, which may have been true in 1930s Germany, but it's complicated. Many high-ranking Nazis themselves, including Adolf Hitler, were Ashkenazi Jews, who can be traced back to the notorious Khazars, who mysteriously mass-converted to Judaism about 1,300 years ago in the region now known as Ukraine. Ashkenazi Jews ran the political Zionist movement in Germany, and for several years, the Zionists were the only political party allowed to operate inside Germany by the Nazis. Both the Zionists and the Nazis wanted their own ethnically pure state, and for years before their final solution, the Nazis helped the Zionists in their efforts to establish the state of Israel within Palestine. It was far more complicated than mere racial hatred. You cannot get more evil than people like George Soros, ladies and gentlemen. They're committed to evil. And they want to hurt and kill everybody. Look at Israel. It has some of the most draconian controls in the world after China with lockdowns and forced injections and mass death. Oh, Israel loves Jews so much, but the people running it follow the New World Order orders to a T, and now Jews are dying in mass. I've studied history, and when these globalists do this, they do a double cross, and then right at the end, they turn and wipe out everybody, and particularly the Jews. And so, yeah, they're talking about anti-Semitism's coming, death of Jews is coming, absolutely, at the hands of the New World Order and the hands of the globalists, just like George Soros did. I predict this isn't turned around, that, that, that the globalists will what, 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 not just wipe out 80% of the population, they will particularly hunt down the Jews. Look, Israel. Oh, but the Jews all think they're safe there. <laughs> Read Revelation. Again, this is all deception upon deception upon deception. Everything is awesome when you're part of a slave team. Take your vaccines and die. It's for the children. GMO kills the rats, but it's good for you. Honeybees eat it and die, but it's good for you. You like your IQ dropping. You like to die. Government loves you. Drink your fluoride. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. To for sure, these are military products, military products. And on my website now on America Out Loud Talk Radio, McCullough Report, you can find um, the most recent uh, podcast. It's going viral right now that I conducted with Alexandria Sasha Laripova, and we outline here a clear um, fact pattern that the COVID-19 vaccines and the other related products are military products, that this is a military operation, that DARPA, the military research op, uh, unit, and then BARDA, the NIH unit, they work in concert. They had a plan to use messenger RNA technology stated many years in advance that they were going to use this technology. Here's the graphic right here. This is the ADEPT P3 program. In your freedoms, I do. You got to do what you have to do. But I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got, no, that's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms. But I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know. But Meanwhile, 
I have real talent and real charisma, and the enemy knew that a long time ago. And for 22 years, I've been on here 28 years, but for 20 plus years, I have been offered everything, everything. The meetings with Kissinger, the meetings with George W. Bush, hundreds of millions of dollars. That's how real the new world order is. I have a seat at their table. I could snap my fingers right now and join them. That's how real this is. These people are going to kill you. Do you understand that? They're going to kill you. This is only the beginning of all the money out of that man by threatening to kill his family in Germany. And so my grandfather joined the Army Air Corps after that and all other things. But he was heavily involved early on, even before World War II started, in working against the Nazis because of those wealthy Germans and what he was involved in and what he saw. And growing up, I got to learn about all those things because my German ancestors came from what Hitler would call the Ubermenschen or the Superman. Now, I don't think I'm a Superman, and I don't think I'm the Ubermenschen, but to have people call in here and tell me that I'm on some leash to Israel or that I work for that when, when I come from a recognized family of the Ubermenschen is a joke, and you people are a joke, and you are pathetic, and you are sick. And I, you have no effect on me, and you don't stop what we're doing, but we're going to free humanity. Because there aren't just Germans that want to dominate and run everybody's lives. There are Germans that want to empower humanity. But surpassing the Germans is the British. And that's my real bloodline of dominant resistance to the New World Order is not from my mother's family, but from my father's family. I'll just give you the secrets right here. And that bloodline is the strongest there is in the fight against Satan. So you will burn in hell before we ever surrender to you people, and we will go interplanetary, and humanity will win. And I'm done talking about it. But you fools that sit around and talk about your supremacy, someone who is really supreme would empower humanity and not enslave them and not kill them, like Klaus Schwab and the Rothschilds and the New World Order and all these other groups like Noah Harari but I'm done. That's who I am. That's where I come from. That's what I stand for. And we trump with the ace of spades and the royal flush anything you people can do. Because the truth is, InfoWars supports God. InfoWars supports God's vision. And InfoWars is trying every day, though, though we're imperfect, to align with God. And we will do it. And we will never surrender, and we will never give in to the Satanism, period. And we love everybody, whether they're in Guatemala or whether they are in Timbuktu. And I care about every person under satanic attack, and I think every person has the essence of God in them, whether they are in India or whether they are in Sri Lanka. And I am a brother to every person, black, white, yellow, brown, red, and I in front of God, salute humanity and commit myself to the fight for our species. And I am not a Brit. I am not a German. I am not a Russian. I am not Japanese. I am not Mexican. I am not Brazilian. I am human with red blood and we will overcome the new world order. So damn all the leftist race baiters to hell and damn all the Nazis to hell and damn you all to hell that serve this crap. Humanity will unify behind God or we will be destroyed. And we have unified behind God and we are winning and Satan knows it and can't stand it.